Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to some of you and peace out to the rest of you. Uh, Black Heart of Sign of Black and again asking you to hit that share button. Thank you if you've hit like or subscribe, but the share button, well, that's everything. That's what we collectively benefit. Look, let me go ahead and say, uh, first off, to the matriarchal ma'am, dingoes and gynocrat goons. I didn't have a chance to listen to everything you all said while I was on vacation, but I listened to a good bit of it and I saw the titles. Man of Tomorrow, I'm still going through your video in which you pretty much rip up Loadcast. I'm still going through it because it is long. I mean, five hours, but I'm just going to call it what it is, man. Man of Tomorrow, I'm glad you did, bro. Good, man. Thank you. And I mean that from the bottom of my black heart. I want to give a shout out to Man of Tomorrow for ripping up Loadcast points. It was done without hatred, the parts that I've heard so far. Now, I'm going to say what I'm going to say without hatred. I'm calling names, but this is not about hatred. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say this. Uh, I'm going to make a recommendation to you. <laughs> O'Shea, you've actually been very reasonable for the most part in telling sisters why brothers do bounce. But you've also said that brothers really shouldn't say much about it. But you're saying why it is that brothers are bouncing. So I think you should go ahead and just be open about how much you agree with us. You are bringing in opposition to the show. You're letting them say what their piece is. You're not wrong because of what they say. No one's going to blame you for it. But I think they're getting the message that you agree with them. Like Steve the Dean Williams, I believe he probably got the message that you see it his way. Now, y'all are boys. That's personal. That's fine. But now, let me move on to you, uh, Mr. Dean Williams. Um, you're a kept man. The reason that woman can afford to keep you is because her ancestors were not our ancestors. And more than likely played a role in the oppression of our ancestors. Do I blame her for that specifically? No, I don't. <laughs> she didn't do it. But I do want you to understand, um, sir, that that undermines the point you're trying to make. Now, you have taken the tone on O'Shea's show to say that, well, if you're going to bounce because it's what you prefer, go ahead and do it. But you don't have to talk about it. Um, Mr. Dean Williams, you've gone in on black women pretty harshly. You've gone in on them more harshly than I would have. I tell them, change, but until then, we're out. I tell them, you traumatize, get help. I don't hate them per se. I do hate the fact that they lie, and I do tell them, your preferences are jack shit, and they're not to be respected. But I see them as psychological victims of a really um, serious torture job and mind fuck that need help. However, they won't take it. So we can't do anything. You going in on them hard, harder than I would have. But you don't want men to say we're bouncing because they drove us the hell away. Bruh, we don't have to be Superman. That ain't our job, especially when all these bitches are as low as lane. Um, low cast. At the end of the day, they're wrong. We're right. We're supposed to leave them because of how they're acting. You're not sitting up and telling these women that they were stupid because they would completely lose interest in a guy based on what color shirt he wore one day to work or to school. You're not telling them that. And this, these are real things that we've had to deal with, dealing with sisters. You're not telling them, look, you need to learn from the Mylings and you need to learn from the same women you look down on for being submissive. Because they're really not pushovers and doormats. they just cooperative. They're cooperative with their men. You need to learn from them because you're driving your man off. You're not telling them that. You're saying, well, you ain't got to make all this noise. Leave from Now, many of you have said that we don't need to make all this noise as we leave. Let me pull your coattail to something right quick. Actually, we do need to make all this noise. Here's why. You saw the skit. Uh, that Maya Angelou did in 68, but BGS put it on his channel. Y'all saw that skit. We never heard that male actor's voice. I didn't, you didn't. He listened, he dressed, he bounced. Never said a word. When black men did what he did and just kind of quietly left and still only left within the community for more cooperative women or went for foreign women that were more cooperative, when that happened, then sisters still talked. They said all kind of things that weren't true. Why the hell did you not go to them and say, you need to fuck the shuck up when they leave? Because really, the noise we're making is an answer to their questions. Why are you niggas leaving us? 
That's the real truth. We're answering them. And you come along and say, well, you need to be quiet when you leave. Just do you. No, niggas, we need to tell them because they asked the question. You need to tell your bosses. Actually, they're answering your question. And by the way, boss, you're wrong and he's right. So I'm going to get my passport and go join them. And you lucky if these niggas will talk to you anymore. That's what you need to be doing. In other words, what I'm saying is just like you open your mouth to say that we're doing it wrong and we're doing it too loudly. I'm opening my mouth to say you ain't doing it loudly enough and you on the wrong side. You need to be here with us because we're right and you're wrong. Now, what is the objective proof that I'm right and you're wrong? Your bosses themselves, the matriarchy, the gynocracy, not the black gynocracy either or the black matriarchy. No, I'm talking about the nigger gynocracy, the nigger matriarchy. The nigger sapphire and what she wants and the fact that she predominates among black women in America and in the West in general, even in England. The fact that she is actually more common than any other type because she outnumbers the middle of the road and the good women enough to shame them for what they're doing and what they what they are. They proven that we're right and you're wrong. They just sent you to ignore the fact that they're wrong and you're wrong and try to tell us that we're wrong. As a teacher, I have to tell my good students oftentimes, don't take up for the bad students trying to win their approval. You're not going to get it. They're using you. You are worse than the good student that defends the bad student. You are the teacher that defends the bad student and tells a good student they need to be more like the bad student. That's what you are. I don't say this out of hatred. I'm saying it because you niggas need to hear it. Otherwise, I wouldn't be calling you niggas. You deserve better. Most of the time. Unless you insist on not deserving it. Get your passports and walk over here to the side of the fence and tell your former bosses, pay attention. I listened to you. I did what you said. They made a better case. Now, you change who the F you are or deal with it by yourself. Tell them this. Can you? You may be thinking, well, if I don't say something about this when these guys leave, then when they're gone, the sisters are going to look at me and they're going to say, well, you didn't say nothing about them niggas that left. I'm here to assure you that that's not what's going to happen. When you become the only game in town because we're gone, they're going to come to you and they're not going to ask you why you didn't say nothing. And even if they did, you could simply say, well, I didn't say anything because y'all were busy. I was scoping you out. You fine, but y'all were busy. Now you're free. Bend over this couch. And if you were the only game in town and you're afraid that they still won't bend over your couch, then that means you doubt something about yourself. And that doesn't that's not even wrong. But it means that for all the insecurities that you attribute to us, you have one of your own. The other thing, too, is this. If you are the only game in town, which should be great for you, right? Why are you worried about us bouncing and leaving you as the only game in town unless you're worried that the women are going to start bringing their dinner bills to you as well? Look, I bent over your couch, but I got to eat, and this is what it cost me. Now, if you, that's what you're afraid of, then it fits together as to why you would even give a rat's ass that we're bouncing and making noise while we do it, since they asked us the question and the noise was the answer. You're making yourselves look less than what you are, as far as I can see. Sapphire ran us the hell away. The good ones also got shamed by Sapphire, but they weren't shamed by men. They found their men, so they're not available. So we can't wait on them. We're not here to break up marriages. Even those of us who do trick, and I'm not one of them. As a Muslim, I believe in marriage, not girlfriends, not not tricks, but marriage, but even those other SYSBM and Ibmore men who do trick, they're not looking in mass to ruin marriages. That's something that so-called dom game division cats uh, look lightly on. They're not all out to do it, but a lot of them do look lightly upon something like that. This thing of being out to ruin marriages, that's even beyond Alan Roger Curry. Even he ain't going that far to just, that's his whole goal. Now he'll do it. 
He'll gloat about it. He'll rub it in another man's face for disagreeing with him. But that's not even his actual goal when he goes out there. He's not seeking out married women. He's not limiting himself to married women. He doesn't only date and screw married women. And this is something we agree on. We're not out to ruin the marriages of women or men that are already married. So stop telling us that, that you, you just need to find a good one. No, they're already taken, bro. Finding one is like winning a lottery. There are a few lucky guys who do. They don't know the rest of what's going on. It's like the guy that grew up poor, but as soon as he was old enough to find a job, he won the lottery. So he's never really had to work hard. He may have had to work, but not hard. So he doesn't know what it's like. He never felt the full effects of poverty as an adult. That's what that's what those guys are like. They won the lottery. Good for them. They don't know about these struggles out here that might bite them in the butt later if their wives die while they're young enough to be on the market. But other than that, I mean, they shouldn't have to. It's not normal. I think I've said enough for the most part, but I want to point this out, though. About Mike the MGTOW, white guy. Mike the MGTOW man. He has a channel with that name. Um, he has a video out about how a uh, um, white woman, I'm assuming that all of these folks are white. <laughs> this woman, uh, 34 years old, ex-feminist, was engaged. Her fiancé stumbled on her search history because she used to look at MGTOW to know what was going on. Really to know how to present herself and how to fake the presentation. And he stumbled upon it in her browsing history and so he began to watch out to you know watch MGTOW stuff and then he changed towards her because he started to doubt that she really loved him and he asked her about it and she said I'm going to keep the ring if you leave me for no reason well of course that's exactly what they would say according to MGTOW right because it's about the resources not about the man so he swapped the ring out took the real ring back got a full refund I understand Swapped it out with a fake $150 ring, left her, asked her for that ring back, didn't tell her that it was a fake until she said, over my dead body, you'll get it back. Then he told her, well, I figured you'd say that because you said it earlier and I swapped the ring out. I got the full refund for the real one. That one there, I just want to see if I could get a refund fit, but no biggie, I can't. And then he got up and left. MGTOW messed up their plans, her plans. One man in a comment section said it didn't mess up her marriage plans and messed up her divorce plans. Because, look, she confirmed what he, he suspected when she said, if you leave me for no reason, I'm keeping this ring. Because it's about cash and prizes. You understand? Now, this is in the white uh, community. Bruh. I don't give a damn about them white folks. Matter of fact, I do care. I hope they go through some real hell like what they put others through. But that don't mean we don't learn from them. Mike the MGTOW man read this woman's email, told us about the situation like she told him, told all of us, and then proceeded to tell her, F you, I don't apologize for this. I won. This is what I'm supposed to do because this is who you are. That's what he said. I'm not taking that tone with you. Now, you worse than the women, but I'm not taking this tone with you yet. But if this continues... I got something else in mind. I got another strategy. And that's going to be very hostile. I don't want to go that far. I want you cats to take the wool off your damn eyes and see what's going on. You're on the wrong side. Tell your former boss, I'm going to listen to what you got to say. Go ahead and speak. But when you're done, when she's done talking, then you tell her, you drove us away. That's right. It is your fault that we're leaving. It is, this has been a bad and unfair deal from the beginning. We no longer care what the hell you want or why you want it. You're screwed up. You're jacked up. We've told you that and you don't want to listen. You don't want to get help. So we can't sit up and help you. So we got to bounce. They got, there are more black women in the world than just your American Yankee ass with all your materialism. So um, meet Maria, who's also black, by the way. Or, you know. Tell them about black women in other places, like what we've told you. Tell them what you've heard us tell you and bounce. Get your passports and come on over. The water's warm. The weather's nice. And Get Out is more than just a good movie. It is a geographical solution. Hope that what I've said is a benefit. I hope one day it won't have to be necessary anymore. But until then, I hope it helps. Assalamu alaikum and black male power.